Hi friends, welcome back. Good morning to all. Hello. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, please. Yeah, welcome back. So, friends, sir, uh, today we are going to be talk uh, day one of Selenium. Six to seven is the selenium classes will go on and seven to eight uh, java sessions will continue okay now so let's start recording yeah so one second So friends, uh, this is the day one of Selenium class. 
to work with selenium the first prerequisite is we have we must install java in our computer yes we already done installation part of java and we must have a eclipse id where to develop your programs is yes, eclipse also we having friends now this is the first prerequisite second prerequisite is we have to build your selenium automation scripts so to work with selenium selenium will supports various language bindings i said a selenium will supports various language bindings java c sharp ruby python our language dot php pascal etc etc like these many programs my selenium will use to automate the steps so if this course is designed for java with selenium so we will we will have a, a language binding java okay na that's the first prerequisite which language you prefer to automate using selenium that language binding jar file is required if you if you are developing your automation scripts using java language java jar file needs to have so if you are developing developing automation scripts using c sharp language the using c sharp language binding jar it will develop your automation scripts so which language you prefer to automate that language binding jar file is required that's the first prerequisite to start with selenium okay na so so i will download this java language binding jar because based on this jar only i will uh, develop my automation scripts all the selenium libraries are defined with respect to language jars only okay na so the official website for selenium is a selenium dot dev is the official website of selenium see here if you can see the dashboard selenium automates browsers that's it what you do with that power is entirely up to you so my selenium will 100% automates web applications only so web applications means the applications Very open good. through browser web application so the applications which are opened by browsers we call as a web application so selenium purely automates the web applications only not a window desktop applications so what is the power is entirely up to you what is that power means programming knowledge how much programming knowledge you are aware of it so you can play the games in automating the scripts okay na selenium automates browsers that's it what you do with that power is entirely up to you so it will not automates window desktop applications okay na fine so to work with selenium so we have a, a components like selenium web driver selenium id and selenium grid like this we have components see friends selenium web driver selenium id and selenium grid so these are the components we have of course we also have a selenium rc also that got deprecated selenium rc also is there but that got deprecated only these three components are available for selenium so the first component is selenium id first component is selenium friends please be in a mute please Every please be in a mute friends please try to understand devesh i'm keeping you okay fine the first component in selenium is a selenium id which is record and playback tool here we can see the symbol video symbol is there it's a record and playback tool if you want to work with selenium ide not required any programming knowledge what i said here to work with selenium i required some language bindings what are all the languages we have that language books concepts we must aware of it when we work with selenium but when this case happens means when we work with selenium web driver we required any one of the language bindings we must know when we working with selenium id 
not require any programming knowledge, just a record and playback tool. So any application to auto automate using IDE, just start the recording in IDE and do the transactions manually. Whatever you do the transactions will get recorded, will get recorded. Okay, now after recorded done, you stop the recording and playback. So record and playback too. Record it. What are the statements to do? And stop that and playback. Record and playback too. Programming knowledge. But here, disadvantage is that means uh, which browser we, we record, in that browser only we can execute that. And some advanced elements, all the elements cannot be recorded using IDE. So these are all the disadvantages considered and ID will not be used in real time. Only we use the Selenium web driver. Here to work with Selenium web driver, any one of the language binding you prefer to automate your scripts using Selenium web driver. So which language you prefer that language jar dependency based only we can develop your automation scripts using Selenium web driver tool, okay? So generally Selenium ID will be used for for instant results, for um, when we do some mock mock testings, okay. For client that is asking some mock test, uh, see, is asking to a uh, pilot projects. Generally, for pilot projects, if any new project comes, so as in front of uh, the client, we'll be doing some uh, mock testings. We'll record some scenarios, and this is how we're going to do like this to show that at glance, okay. We use ID just for mock or pilot projects. Uh, instant to get to show the instant results we use the id for real time we'll never use this id okay now so using web driver only still web driver only with combination of any one of the language binding we will automation your scripts so see here still web driver what it does if you want to create robust browser-based regression automation suits and test then we use a selenium web driver Browser based regression automation source and test. Once you're developing your scripts, the scripts has to be done in every browser, Chrome, Firefox, all those things, in every platform it has to exist. Such a way we are designing the programs using Selenium Web Driver. Once you design the program likewise, then that developer program has to be scaled and distributed in executing parallelly in many computers and many browsers. Who will take care means? using ID. So here, if you want to scale by distributing and running tests on several missions and manage multiple environments from the central point, making it easy to run tests against a vast combination of browsers operating, then you want to use a Selenium grid. So finally, to understand, web driver, Robust browser based regression automation suits and tests by using web driver. Selenium grid, which scales and distributes in executing parallelly in many browsers and many operating systems with using the grid. So, the appropriate combination in Selenium is a web driver with the grid concepts. These are the appropriate combination to work with the Selenium. Okay, now, so if you come down, here for Selenium is an open source. It's a free open source to work with Selenium, not required any license here. It's an open source, free. Anyone can download without any uh, purchasing the license. It's free. But Selenium is growing day to day because of some Selenium level sponsors are available. See who are the Selenium level sponsors? These are the guys. Browser Stake, Source Labs, like these all the guys are uh, selenium level sponsors they sponsor uh they, they, they do they do some sponsorships and based on the sponsorship they'll they, they'll miss some amount right so based on that uh, they'll be developing that all the libraries and uh, not only the selenium level sponsor levels we have bronze level uh go silver level platinum level sponsors also are there for say for uh, selenium so where i can see that uh, so let's click on support uh, the selenium projects okay want to support the selenium project learn more view the full list of sponsors just click on learn more 
not only cellular level sponsors okay and also we have gold level sponsors or micro focus organization and silver level sponsors are these are signity okay is all the companies on um, silver level sponsors and bronze level sponsors are these are the guys are the bronze level sponsors and you also wants to become a, a sponsor for the selenium means yes would you like to uh, your, would you like your company to be listed on this page just click on learn more about sponsor selenium so here these are the sponsors the selenium project is a member of a software uh, freedom uh, conservation like a non profitable organization this is a thing that we call non profitable the who are contributing they are not expecting any profits that's why it's a non profitable organization okay now has allowed us to pool our national resources uh, with other projects such as uh, link space samba sambine and other reduce the management over and associates with creating a own dedicated list the majority of sponsorship funds uh, go directly towards supporting the selenium projects such as uh, server and software expenses for all these things they are investing the uh, this investments okay a small portion of funds uh, are set aside for a conservancy to continue their work in supporting selenium and other open source initiatives so finally to understand uh, the sponsorships are which are uh, used for maintaining the server software expenses okay now for supporting the selenium all these things the sponsor fund is going to be placed if you want to become as a sponsor become as a sponsor of the selenium or any platinum or gold or silver anything so these are the sponsorship payments for selenium level sponsor is $20000 platinum $10000 gold is 5000 silver is 1000 bronze is 5000 based on your sponsorship in that category your company will listed okay na so like this fine so let's come back so as everyone came to know uh selenium automates web applications not a window desktop applications here we have a three components are there ide is a record and playback tool which will not never used in real time for purpose only for instant results for pilot for pro project purpose only we'll be using this ide so in real time we will be using the components of selenium or a selenium web driver and the grid these are the two are appropriate combination to work with the selenium so using web driver we build the program using the grid we will scale and distribute in executing parallelly in many computers and many browsers so this combinations so this is the open source selenium is a open source a free tool anyone can download without purchasing any license rights so that selenium is developing by various sponsorships like selenium level sponsorships and bronze level silver level gold level sponsorship these persons are uh, doing some sponsors in growing the selenium day to day for server expenses and infrastructures and software all those things they are maintaining things okay fine so now i said to work with selenium we require language binding so if you want to develop your selenium web driver scripts by which language binding you want to develop your web driver scripts by java na by c sharp ruby or python which language you prefer to automate that language binding jar file is the first prerequisite to work with a selenium so where do i get this all this dependency jars where i can get this? java language jar c sharp in c sharp language binding jar like python means python jar like this we have to download the dependencies so where do i get so there is one a uh, repository a maven there is one centralized repository where all the jars are allocated accommodated there so the source is mvn repository where mvn stands for maven mvn repository.com friends please everyone be in your good night the mvn repository.com is a maven repository which is centralized friends i am saying many times you will be not understanding pramila please try to understand everyone please be in a mute yeah so 
here mvnrepository.com is a maven uh, maven centralized repository where every jar file so whatever jar file is available in the market so every jar file will be accommodated in the maven centralized repository so while we'll go to this website here we can search whatever you want here we have so many popular categories code analysis jar files collection jar files core core utilities date and time it is something jdbs extension like this the category based we have extensions jar files uh, okay or else we can directly search here i want uh, selenium java language binding so search with the selenium java just search with selenium java search here we can see selenium java option is coming here first one so all dot selenium hq dot selenium okay this is the one okay click on it here we can see selenium java language binding we have some versions are there four series is there 4.2 4.1 4.0 is all the four series 4.0.x series 4.1.x series 4.2.x series and below that we can see web driver 3 so these are all the versions of the selenium web driver so we have web driver 2 see here these are the web driver 2 series 2.0.x 2.1.x 4.x 2.9 okay like this we have a web driver 2 series are there versions and web web driver 3 series 3.0.x 3.1.x these are all the web driver 3 series versions and these are the web driver 4 series versions friends this web driver 4 has uh, released on unofficially on april 2019 since from april 2019 to current uh, year also it was not stable web driver 4 is not stable see here we can if we can see that alpha 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 beta versions are there as everyone know that alpha beta versions are not stable versions even if we can observe for all these versions see the usages how much it was there usages so friends these are the open source free tools these are free jars so don't uh, uh, think like a, a latest jar file we have to work make sure these are all the open source some compatible issues will comes so better you go with the which is having highest usage see if you can observe still every organizations every people are using web driver 3 series only in real time and that to web driver 3 3.141.59 which is having 439 observe here even if you go below web driver 3 series below versions see web driver 3.1 3.14.0 or not seven have used okay na and if you go down and 3.4.0 is majority uses is there and in web driver 2 uh, 2.53.1 uh, is the highest uses is there which means of course so many versions come but those are not that much uh, used devesh yes yes devesh go ahead Yes, Devish. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Uh, yes. Sir, my doubt, uh, sir, my doubt here is uh, alpha and beta version is not officially uh, given by uh, Selenium, right? Alpha no, and beta actually, version. No, actually, see, web driver four is released by Selenium only, but not stable one. You know that alpha beta versions, right? What is the alpha beta versions? No, I it's, don't know alpha beta. It's some known issues. Those are not stable. What is the meaning of alpha? Since from your uh, graduations, we'll be learning alpha beta and software engineering, right? Yes. What is the alpha beta? These are not a stable version site. Alpha beta. Yes, sir. Because I'm not stable. Yes, yes. Since from April 2019, unofficially they are released. One second. One second. Hello. Yes, madam.
Yeah, sorry friends. So here, we have Selenium WebDriver 2 series and 3 series and 4 series are there. So even since from April 2019 up to uh, 2021 October, it was not stable. Right. Here, see, if we see the usage also, 1, 5, 6, 8, like this usage is there. Sir, uh, sir, I will knock here, sir. Uh, let's say if it is not stable, uh, let's say if it is not stable, then can we use, uh, can uh, industry, uh, uh, let's say alpha and beta is there. So is uh, industry going to use this one or it is uh, it is still waiting? Uh, no, no, no. That's what I'm saying that. That's what I'm saying that. So in real time, we will never use this version, friends. So of course, the new features in the web driver 4, we, are, we can learn that. But in real time, majority usage web driver 3 only because this is most compatible with all the libraries so alpha See, and how beta, much is the usage so alpha and beta industry are not going to be used until they have to wait for officially release to 4.2 version like in this stable yes. version right yes See, and so she is not used See, so how much is uses only just for uh a file purpose people for learning they they use like they see the uses that given five and six eight like given like here Sir, one more small doubt, sir. Uh, okay, yes. I agree, I agree. Like uh, Selenium has given this alpha and beta version. So why this has given? Why all this is giving in um, MBN repositories? Because this is official site uh, where all the jar file is officially jar file is going to be placed here. So if it is alpha, it means like testing purpose. So why this is giving in MBN repositories? Sir, they have kept, sir. They have kept. Okay. So, so it's a kind of testing one. See, these are the open source. These are the open source. We know guarantee that we are using this be compatible or not. Mostly alpha beta versions will not be compatible. Some issues will come. Or stable that's working as a version alpha to alpha three. They're working on releasing here. Ready? Uh, yes, sir. but my question is like why it is giving in mpnrepositories.com because it's a very official site. Sir, they have put, sir, sir, they have put, sir, they have put, sir, they have selenium site, sir. They will put all those things. Why should we risk? Her? I am saying alpha beta since we should not touch. Not only this, anything you should not touch. Any software, any open source, alpha beta release means don't prefer that. That's what I'm saying that. That's very specific. Don't prefer any software, any tools, any jars which is having alpha beta versions there are no guarantee there's not stable one understanding will you take stable one or non stable one stable one sir stable one we have to prefer why you are bothering about unstable why they have put all the things means it's none other our business it's their side they'll keep we should not touch them that's it okay now if you touch you will you will feel the pain while using that libraries uh, what the risk you will face well, real time will involve only will we'll feel, we'll feel that pains, right? Understanding? Okay, yes. Okay. So here in WebDriver 3, the highest version 3.141.59, which is having highest usage among all the drive versions, 439. Okay, now, if you are using me, see, we can use the from 4.0.0 from here to here, we can use anything that to majority uses 4.12 is there. 4.1.x, sir. We have three C's there. In this, which is having highest 4.1.1 and 4.1.1.2, right? One, two. We can use either this one or we can use this. So you can conclude, you can justify here. Who is using which versions? Which is having highest usage? This is having highest usage, right? Prefer this one. Why I'm saying that means it'll come to me. Okay, now. Everyone, every, even if you inquire your friends also, they will say in our projects, we are currently using we have driver 3 only, that to 3.14 point finding only. That's only the people to attract a web driver 4 in the, uh, loading this and they'll do the magics. Okay, just we'll, I will I will explain all the features. The web driver 4, what are the features are there? I will explain you. But really to work with the real time, better you go with web driver 3. Okay, now web driver 3. This is the version you prefer. I prefer for this. Just click on this version. Just click on this version. So we have to go with the nature. We should not go against to the nature, right? If I say something that's not suggested means you should not go that. Okay, now what is high majority people are using that only we have to follow. Don't uh, listen others and others. They say like we do that, we do that. Anyone can say stories, but only the 
reality is the main important understanding fine so here we can see here so i have clicked on 3.141.59 here we can see here we can see this is the this is the jar file actually here this is a jar file this is a jar file section is there here we have jar is there you just click on this it will download it will download this jar file this java language binding jar file needs to configure to your java project in this jar what it contains the selenium java language binding jar file contains the libraries selenium web driver libraries irrespective of the java language will be exist in the jar file in java pro in java project sir we will create the class project the packages classes interfaces everything we create after that we will convert the project into jar files a jar is a kind of zip file a jar is a kind of zip file in windows operating system if we have a huge files where we want to move from one location to other location what we'll do we will compress that huge files into smaller one how we compress while well, zipping that right the similar way every java project sir will be compressed in a manner of the jars a jar is nothing but jar file zip file jar is nothing but kind of zip file okay na in windows we call as a uh, zipper in in, in a java we call as a jar extension is dot jar okay na jar is nothing but equivalent to zip files understanding yes any every java project see this uh, java uh, selenium java language binding this jar is this was developed using by java only they have converted into the jar file that's what we are saying selenium java language binding jar file it contains defined libraries using that libraries only with java defined libraries only we are developing a selenium web driver script if uh, libraries got defined using c sharp means the c sharp jar files uh, we will associate your project and will be using that c sharp libraries in automating the scripts okay na yes so in uh, in java project we have to configure first you download this jar and downloaded jar needs to configure to the java project okay na this is one way in another way friends uh, we will create java project na we will we will also we will use some build tools to create a projects we will use some build tools so we have various build tools are there ant is there maven is there gradle is there these are the build tools okay na any project you want to uh, build means we using some build tools only we will create a projects like ant maven gradle ant is deprecated earlier we used to use a build tool as a ant nowadays maven or gradle will be using things maven project and uh, like this gradle project like this we created so mostly the companies are using 95% maven build tools only maven projects only so in case of maven projects when we create we will add the uh, the jar file dependencies in in when we creating the maven maven project or maven build when we are creating for that how do we add this language binding java jars means in providing this dependencies see maven maven dependencies when we are using build tool called gradle then gradle these are the dependencies and is not there observe here and is not there i said right and is deprecated these are the build tools maven gradle and or the build tools nothing but projects the kind of projects okay na so now i will create one maven project nothing but maven project or maven build in that maven project i will add this dependency okay na in real time we will work with the maven builds only maven builds or maven projects only we will add every dependencies okay na now let's go to the eclipse let's try to create one maven project or maven build whatever it is yeah so how do we create go to the file menu generally how do we create java projects file new project and there we select the java project this is what we do the creating the project java projects now i am saying to create a maven project or maven build whatever it is maven build projects build tools i am saying that to create a projects uh, file new project there you select the maven expand the maven there you uh, select the maven project 
So if you want to create Gradle means there is a Gradle is there, Gradle project. I said build tool set and Gradle Marvin. Now here ant is not there. Nowadays ant is deprecated. They have some disadvantage. That's why ant is deprecated. It's no more. The only that build tools we are having available in the market is Marvin and Gradle. So Marvin will your kidding means just expand the Marvin and click on Marvin project. Click on next button. Friends, we are getting Marvin project. Earlier you show, yeah, I showed you that how to create Java project. I'm showing you now Marvin project. Yes. So now click on next button. Friends, once you are working with, when once you're getting Marvin project, make sure you must connect to your network. You must connect it with your network. Yes. Uh, next. Uh, so next uh, we have to, one second please. Just select this, uh, create a simple project. Just click on this, next. Now here see friends, here group ID artifact ID. When you're creating Marvin project, it will talk everything as a group ID artifact ID, group ID artifact ID. Group ID is nothing but needs to provide a package name. An artifact that is nothing but a project name we have to provide here. Okay, now group ID, we need to provide as a package name. An artifact that is a project name. I'm giving form dot project as a group ID. An artifact I'm giving like um, 2022 underscore 6 p.m. Beginning. Now click on finish. See, once I click on finisher, see it was building the project. See, it was being here. June 20, 22, 6 p.m. Selenium batch. See, it was building the structure. See, it's building SRC folder, target folders here. See, friends, some structure of folders gets created. For normal Java project means what creates, friends? When we create Java project, what it creates? When we give the project name, what it creates? JRE, Java libraries, eight libraries. Whatever the Java versions we select with the Java version, libraries are getting loaded under this project. And dummy SRC folder will generate when we create a Java project. When we create Marvin project, what it creates the structure? These all structures, it gets created automatically. SRC main Java, SRC slash main resources, SRC slash test Java, SRC test resources, and GRE system libraries, and SRC folder target folder form XML. These are the default structure folders gets created once we create a Marvin project. For case of Java project, only these two structures will get created. Understanding? Okay, you can easily differentiate which is Java project, which is Marvin project. See. Java means we can see folder with the J icon will be there. This is Java project. For Marvin project, the folder above we can see M and J will be there. M and J. M and J. M and J will be there. Okay, now? And these are the structure folders we can differentiate which is Java project, which is Marvin project. Okay, fine. So what are these folders we will talk? First, let's try to add the dependencies. Friends, in case of Java project, how we add a dependency jar? Java language manager, how I, how I configure to the Java project means we, we have to download this jar. We have to download this jar and the jar needs to be configured to this Java project. So one second. So I think I already have that. Friends, I already downloaded it. See, Selenium Java is the one. Okay, now once I download, it will be in a, it will be in a zip file that I have extracted. It comes as a folder like this. This, these are the jars. This, this one, and in the libs folder, these all things I need to configure. Let me show you that. Let me show you that. How do I configure that to the Java project? See, right click on my project. Java project, right click on Java project, build a path, configure build path, 
So by default, Java library is only available. Externally, you are adding the dependency jars of language binding Java. Okay. Just click on add external jars. Where is that? New drivers. Selenium Java and client combine this jar file and again add external jars. Lips folder, all these jars adding like this. Apply and close. You see default JRE system library and SRC is there. Once I click on apply and close, we can see one more folder created reference libraries. So the jars which we configured to the project. This is a case for Java project. I'm saying that. So download this jar. Download this jar. It will be a zip file. We extract it. After extraction done, you you add it to the Java project just by right click on Java project, build path, configure build path, and be in a okay. So this this libraries. Then you click on add external jars and specify where are the Java language bindings jars you associate to the Java project. In the case of Java project, this is the process. Now for the process of Marvin project, how we add this? We never download, we never configure to the projects. In the case of Marvin project, how we configure? Just for every dependency jar, we'll have a dependency information. For every jar file, it has its own dependency information. See, here we can see Marvin dependency for Java language binding, for Selenium Java, the, for the respective version, we have a Marvin dependency. This dependency information, we need to provide in your Marvin build. Okay, now, see in this dependency, we have a group ID, artifact ID, and version. Every jar, every jar which is available in the MVN repository site, will have a Marvin dependency, which means the source where this jar is resides. See, org.selenum, hq.selenum is a source, and selenum hyphen jar, and this is the version. If you can see here, see here, org.selenum, hq.selenum, this is a group ID, yes or no? And artifact is nothing but selenium hyphen Java, is that right? And the version is, this is the one. Understood? Getting so for every jar will have its own dependency information. It contains group ID, artifact ID, and version of that. Okay, fine. This we need to configure in our Marvin project. So where do I? This is my Marvin project. Under this Marvin project, we can see in ending form dot xml build is there. Marvin build file form dot xml. Inside this form dot xml, I will uh, paste that uh, language binding Java dependence here. Just click on it. So here we can see the basic information of the project group ID as com dot project. An artifact is the project name which I've given here. And version is by default text 0 0.0 0.1 snapshot. After this version, you must add the dependency jars over here. How do we add? Use the Angular bracket. Just take the dependencies, dependencies, any dep any jars you want to include in this only dependencies only we have to include. I'm pasting here. One of the dependencies added, Java language manager. So friends here, I don't see any reference library, right? I don't see any dependency jars. Okay. See, once I save this, once I save this uh, XML file, see it was building, which means it was connecting to the ambient central repository. If what dependency details I provided, it was connecting to the ambient repository, central repository, and loading this uh, uh, jar from the sources. See, here, modern dependencies one folder has come. Under this, we can see all the dependencies jars will be loaded under this Marvin dependencies. So friends, now we are working with 3.141.59, but tomorrow some more version is got uh, announced. I want to work on that. So what I will do, accordingly I will check 
what version I'm having? Okay, I want to work with suppose uh, 4.4.4, this version I want to work. Just in this form XML, in this version, please, you change with 4.0.0. See, earlier in modern dependencies, we will we can see that Selenium Java 3.141.5. Okay, now, now I changed to 4.0.0. 4 Once I change this and save this program, it again connects to the CR building 48%. It was connecting to the contain centralized repository with this dependency details and loads into this Marvin dependencies here. Now Selenium Java is taking 4.0.0. Understanding? If okay, I don't want the specific version to work. I want always to work on latest jar files. I always want to work with latest jar files. Instead of providing the specific version, it just to provide a latest in the uppercase, latest, type the latest like this. Now save this program. It was building. Earlier it was 4.0.0. Now I given latest, which version will take, we'll, we'll see that. See friends. 4.1.3. See, observed 4.1.3. See what is the latest we have, friends? It was taking this one. Okay, now. Of course, uh, it was there, but less usage is there. It was taken 4.1. Uh, the 4.1.1 only it was taken. In. Okay, now, like this. So, if you want specific version, Jar file you want work means you specify here or always you want work with latest means provide a latest like this. Okay, now? Okay, fine. I'll go back to the version 3.141.59. Uh, uh, okay. 3.141.59. So let's 3.141. Ah, Just to see this. It's building. Now it came yours here. Selenium Java 3.141.5. So is everyone came to know how to add the dependency jars in case of Java project, in case of Marvin project? Is everyone clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So better always use Marvin build. In real time, use Marvin projects only, not the Java projects. Just I shown you the approach. Okay, for Java project, how we do. So friends, in Java project, what is disadvantage? Every time, if any new version, we have to remove all these things. Again, you download fresh versions of jar files. Again, we have to reconfigure it. Yes or no? In case of Java project. Yes. So better go with the Marvin project. So create Marvin project. In, in Marvin build POM XML. You add the dependencies open close text. In between, you paste that Selenium Java language jar file dependency. Details. Yeah, which version you want work? That one you provide here. Or you want always work with latest means? See, always don't prefer latest to you because these are the open dependency charts. We no guarantee if you take latest version all the ways whether it is working uh, or not properly any without any compatible issues. We no guarantee that. Okay, just specify the version. Okay, fine. So yes, fine. Now we have add the dependencies. Now what next? Now we can uh, build your Selenium automation scripts. Now we can build your Selenium automation scripts. Friends. Oh. So what? Small door. Yes, yes. Sir, while you are changing the version's name now, 3.1.141 after that uh, 4.0. Hmm. Uh, in the prop, prop package explorer, so if you automatically change it, sir. Here. One, sir. In Marvin dependencies, Marvin dependencies, not package explorer. So in Marvin project, once you give the jar dependency information in form.xml, it is going to be reflected in Marvin dependency folder. Okay. Suppose if so I, I will change it. If I change to some other 4.0.0, see here 4.0.0, I'm changing and save this program. 
save this project builder. So, so it is connecting, and now we can see Selenium Java. We can see here 4.0.2. Yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Previous one uh, that one will be there, sir. Or that one will be uh, removed. It will not be 3. there. 1. It will not be there. It is connecting to the server for this dependency version, right? Okay. How can we the old one? No, right? If you give that, okay. that there, if you give current one is current one will be there. Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. Now, so okay. So what uh, what language you prefer to automate that language bending dependency jar needs to configure like this in Palm XML is going to reflect in Marvin dependencies. Okay, what what this uh, dependency contains some defined libraries, some defined libraries for irrespective Java languages. Okay, now irrespective of Java, some libraries for defined here. Using that uh, Selenium web driver uh, libraries only, we are going to be automate your web applications with this dependency jar contained libraries only we are interacting the web application elements to automate okay now see friends friends here any jar is there means uh, the jar contains some defined libraries okay now so how do i know the, what are the libraries it contains this jar this jar contains what libraries yes they have some documentation friends here if you purchase any a smartwatch, if you purchase any mobile, if you purchase any automobiles, any smart TVs, anything you purchase, you'll be having a documentation of product that contains specification of that product, features of that product. Yes or no? Similar way. For every software, we will have a, a specification document. Irrespective of the versions. Yes or no? Even for Java also, 8, 9, 10, 11, up to 17, irrespective to the versions, how we have the uh, documentation. Now, Selenium Java language binding API docs. Selenium C Sharp language binding API docs. Like this, we have friends. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. So, just you go and search uh, Selenium. Selenium. Java. On this, ah, see friends. Here we can see. Okay, now. So here we click on org dot open qa dot selenium. See all our selenium libraries. Yes or no? Org dot open qa dot selenium. Org dot open qa selenium like this. We have right. Yeah. Just click on org dot open qa selenium package. Here. In this package, we have a web driver interface. Okay, now in Selenium, everything we will interact through web driver only. Every every element will be connected through web driver only. So Selenium is a web driver and it is an interface. Okay, Selenium is a web driver interface. See, web driver it is interface. This is presented in where in this package org dot open to a Selenium package. Okay, now. In this in this package we have a web driver interface tell me friends what web driver has a interface what interface contains generally what kind of behaviors this web driver is interface. abstract behaviors so friends this web driver interface has a some abstract behaviors 13 abstract behaviors are there if you come down see these all the abstract behaviors under the web driver interface see close is one abstract behavior find element find elements get get current url get page source get title get window handle get window handles manage navigate quit switch to all these 13 are the abstract methods from this web driver interface friends these all the abstract methods means does this methods has any body anyone no. The body? no 
all right Most. abstract methods will not have any body so these behaviors must to implement in some chill classes yes sir no these methods is all okay, abstract please. methods must to implement in some chill classes with the chill class references only we can access all these methods friends in selenium 100% we will use these methods without these methods there is no selenium okay na without these methods there is no selenium okay na? this is very much important so where these methods gets implemented as we know yesterday day before yesterday we discussed uh, rbi interface we created which has some abstract behaviors those gets implemented in icic class hdfc class kotak class in similar way this web driver interface 13 abstract methods gets implemented in some chill classes okay selenium community has already defined these methods in some uh, chill classes okay in which classes these 13 behaviors gets implemented yes under this web driver interface there are some known implementing classes like rbi interface have the implementation class like icic hdfc similar way web driver interface abstract methods gets implemented in some chill classes which are nothing but all known implementing classes <clears throat> see here chrome driver class chromium driver class edge driver class firefox driver class internet explorer driver class friends well i can open my web application in any one of the browsers each browser we have corresponding driver class the community has defined in that class only in that respect to browser corresponding driver class only this web driver 13 abstract methods gets implemented in this chrome driver class and as well in edge driver class gets implemented in all these classes this web driver interface that in abstract methods gets implemented chrome driver class implements web driver edge driver class implements web driver so all the web driver 13 abstract methods gets implemented in this respective classes okay na suppose if i want to open any application in chrome browser what is the driver class i must create object to launch chrome browser chrome class chrome driver class object i must create only chrome browser will be launching if i want to open firefox browser means which driver class i must use means firefox okay. driver class firefox. object i must firefox. Firefox. firefox browser so which browser you want to launch that the browser corresponding driver class object must create then only it is going to be launch okay na so let me show you how do we create a how do how do we launch a chrome browser okay using chrome browser class okay fine let's come to this okay now we have added the dependencies once we add the dependencies then only what are the libraries i'm showing is all these libraries is all the libraries friends in this jar contains what the depend what the jars we added what the jars we added it comes in maven dependencies okay these jars contains these all things only these all libraries these all things in of mesh files all these things are there in the jar file this is the, the corresponding api document okay na fine so i can use these classes in my project because this jar this corresponding jar i configured in my current project so i can use that like this chrome browser class fine okay now i will talk about the structures before launching the chrome browser okay src slash main slash java src slash main slash resources src slash test slash java src slash test slash resources we will talk about these things First, let's talk about these two: SRC main Java, SRC test Java. Ah, huh. friends, here we are going to be create Java classes and TestNG classes. Two types of classes we are going to be create. Of course, TestNG class, as of now, I never start anything. Java class only, everyone knows that. Okay, na? So in SRC main Java, we will create hundred percent Java classes only. as everyone know that java class how we create right click on this new we create class like this this is called java class now in src test java we are going to be create java classes as well testng classes 
for Java class here, right click and new Java class. TestNG class means down we can see TestNG and create TestNG class we are going to be created. Okay, now, so in SRC main Java, we will create 100% Java classes only. In SRC test Java, we can create Java classes as well as test ng classes. Understanding? Fine. And what are these SRC main resources? SRC test resources means uh, in this folder, what are the Java classes we are creating? For the Java classes, any resources, resources in the cells, any test data, any configuration file. Okay, now that any resources required for these uh, classes which are defined under this folder, that all the necessary resources will be stored under this SRC main resources folder. Okay, and this come to this SRC test resources, the classes like Java classes, test in the classes which are created under this folder structure, any resources is required like uh, XML files and properties files and uh, XML files dot xls6 files any data sources any configuration files which are required to run your test cases and all the necessary resources will store under this for this uh, test cases related information the resources data will be stored this the test cases which are created under this folder the resources will be stored under this is everyone clear yes sir yes sir now, yes. as of now, we are talking about Java class only. We are not started any test ng. When we talk about test ng, we will create test ng classes over here. Of course, Java classes, we can create any one of these. Okay, now, but test ng classes can create only under this SRC test Java. Okay, fine. I am creating here, friends, SRC main Java. Here in this folder, I will create one package first of all. Okay. Right click, new. Package on um, dot launcher something. I'm giving some package under this package. I'm going to be create one Java class new class. Uh, browser launcher one class I was creating uh, in main vector checkbox. Click on finish. Okay. Under SRC main slash Java folder, I created one package called com.launcher. Under this package, I was creating one Java class called browser launcher. Okay. Uh, here we have to launch a Chrome browser or Firefox browser or Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, any one of the browser I want to launch. In this class so we are all having the some existing uh, libraries for to launch a browsers which browser you want to launch they are having corresponding driver classes on there for chrome browser chrome driver class let's create object for the chrome driver class to launch a chrome browser chrome driver class so what is the process of reading class object so, Class. Chrome driver. Chrome driver. This is the object for the Chrome driver class. Store into one. Driver. What type of Chrome driver class? Chrome driver. Now, friends. Uh, now, I would like to execute this program. Friends, if I would not, if I would not uh, configure my uh, Java language binding dependencies here. See, I was removing. Just observe. See, as of now in my program, I don't see any error on the Chrome Dev class because the corresponding libraries got configured in form XML. You suppose I am deleting them. Save it. See, I am getting error or not? Yes or no? See what, yes. what it says. Chrome driver cannot resolve them. The supported libraries are not configured in your project. Then how can I use that? It's saying I don't know this class. Do you want to create a class? See, create class Chrome driver. It's saying that you want to create. No, no, no. It's already there. I want to use them. So what to do? Library dependencies. Understood. Fine. 
no no error came got it fine now let's try to run this program to launch a chrome browser friends it was getting a error yes friends here um one small example i tell you why do you want to friends here in your laptop you want to play the music without installing audio drivers can we enjoy the music without installing audio drivers we cannot play the music without installing graphics drivers we cannot play the games also yes how does that depends is which browser you want to launch that browser corresponding drivers we require chrome drivers is required if you are launching firefox means firefox drivers are required if you are launching microsoft edge means microsoft edge drivers is required understanding so configuring the drivers for the respective browsers in various can do friends okay one way i am telling you using web driver manager web driver manager friends we have to use a web driver manager so we are not getting any web driver manager class here because the web driver manager related jar file needs to configure to load the respective browser drivers dynamically means uh, we have to use the web driver manager jar file the web driver manager jar file did i add here only selenium java language burning jar only i have added here yes sir no yes sir so web manager i never add if i add them so i can call the web driver manager class here see when i'm calling web driver manager is it coming no right web driver manager is not coming okay so what i will do what i will do i will add the web driver manager dependency where do i get these dependencies in yumware repos yes or no yes. driver manager search with web driver manager io.github.onigarkia this is the one this one click on it not this one just you click on this uh, sorry to interrupt you sir yes uh, sir i can't uh, see the code whatever you are typing um in my screen it is not visible i am not able to from past few minutes i am not able to view whatever you are typing so you joined madam yeah uh, not right now uh, already 20, 25 to 30 minutes has been over at 6:40 i have joined after oh. few minutes i am not able to view anything So, I friends, see, everyone facing the same issue. Everyone able to see my screen? Yes, we are yes, able. Madam, I think uh, there is a technical issue from your end. Kindly check once your network. Don't mind, because everyone able to see my. Can we check your network, please? Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Now let's click on web driver, driver web driver manager link. click on it now here we can see that here we can see that okay na so i'll go with the highest usage uh, 3.8.1 having 78 uses is there of course we have so many are there but uh, uh, i can see this having highest 3.8.1 having the highest 878 uses is there i'll go with 3.8.1 click on it so in in case of java means we download this in case of maven project means we copy this dependency as so i click copy and come to your project 
in form XML. After this Java language banding dependency, you paste it here. Okay. Now, once you save, it will reflect under Marvin dependency. See, connecting to the MVN repository, the hundred percent. Now we can see web driver manager got loaded. It's clear. Whatever we add in Palm XML, once you save it, then it reflects here. Getting? See here. Now, uh, now we come to your program. Now you load this. Now you load this with the web driver. Now web driver manager is coming or not? Yes, sir. It is coming. Web driver. She is coming from io.github.biogarkia. Boni Garkia. Yes or no? The same, yes? Web driver manager. Dot. Uh, which uh, browser driver is Chrome, right? Chrome yes, driver. Chrome driver. Dot. Set. That's it. So what happens, you know, what is the current version of Chrome available in your system? That versions corresponding Chrome drivers will be loaded in your system. Then the Chrome browser is going to be launched. Understanding? Without driver initializations, no corresponding browsers will be launched. Okay, na? now let's run this program. Dynamically, it will check what is the current version of Chrome available in your computer. That Chrome driver version drivers will be initiated and will load this Chrome browser. See, Chrome has opened right? Chrome browser. See, what is the Chrome version I'm having in my computer? See, in the vertical dot dot, if I click, help about Google Chrome. See, one or two version is there. The Chrome, one or two version is there. One or two supported Chrome drivers. Loaded or not? Yes or no? Starting Chrome driver, one or two version. And launch the Chrome browser. Okay, na? Getting fixed. Now, if I want to launch a Firefox browser, how we how we do? Come on. Web driver manager. Dot, dot, yes. Web driver manager. Dot. 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 Firefox. 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 Firefox driver. See for dot Firefox driver is there. C driver is there. IE driver is there. Which browser you want? That respect is there. Right? Yeah. Uh, Firefox driver. Dot. 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 Set up. Set up. First you uh, initiate the Firefox drivers using this web driver manager. We can launch a Firefox browser. Friends, for Firefox launching, what is the corresponding uh, driver class now for Firefox launching? Firefox. Firefox. Firefox driver class. Right? Yes. So we create object for Firefox. New. Firefox. Driver. Uh, store into one variable. Uh, this will initiate Chrome drivers and Chrome browser. Initialize the Firefox drivers and launch the Firefox browser. See friends, Chrome has launched, Firefox has launched. Yes or no? Front is Chrome, back is the Firefox. Yes or no? Got it? So like this, if you want to launch IE or Microsoft, just give that web driver manager dot uh, edge driver dot setup. 
my web driver manager of ie driver dot set up like this with and pay respect to uh, browser correspond to their class object pay it will launch is everyone clear it's launching a browser yes. without initializing browser drivers we cannot launch the browser friends okay okay this uh, where these uh, drivers are falling okay the chrome drivers you are getting firefox drivers are getting with uh, where these are uh, storing where these drivers are storing to launch this chrome on firefox you may have a doubt okay so friends uh, let me show you uh, let's open this pc c drive uh, users username um dot catch here uh, dot catch cm see friends chrome drive and geco drivers we can see the folders microsoft edge folders so i have launched for earlier batches for chrome uh, um, firefox and microsoft edge that's why three four. and if you go inside chrome driver win that to folder inside this we can see these are the versions so since from uh, august 2021 i was using the web driver manager uh, by the time the whenever chrome versions changes the the drivers will be fall under this see getting a similar way for firefox uh, okay so yeah. there is no change if any change version is changes changes is there then that's that come with that respect to version name as a folder it contains that drivers see users your username dot cache and selenium under the selenium uh, whichever browser browsers you launch with the uh, initializing drivers that a uh, browser name that uh, browser name to come like this okay na so this is one way of uh, initializing the drivers here not required to check what is the version of browser installed in your computer the web driver manager will take care whichever the browser versions available in your computer the web driver manager will take care to load that versions to initialize that browsers okay so another way also is there to initialize the browser drivers that is not dynamic this is dynamic what we have seen now this is dynamic if any new version changes of browser that browser version supported drivers will load automatically and opens this browsers this is dynamic web driver manages dynamic there are some 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 ways are there we can set this browser drivers in two two more ways also those two ways are static only so one is through script we can set the browser drivers through script through script we can set the browser drivers that's the second way and third way is in our system environment variables in our system environment variables also we can set our browser drivers tomorrow i will show that those two are the static ways okay when we are setting the browser drivers either through script or through system environment variables in that case we need to download the browser drivers we have to check the browser versions available in your computer according to that browser version supported drivers needs to download that downloaded drivers needs to be set through script or through environment variables any one of the way we can set but both the ways what we are doing is static way if suppose tomorrow the browser versions changes according to that we have to download another version yes or no the support version drivers needs to download we either set through script or through system environment variables understanding what i'm saying yes sir 
see another two ways are there the two ways are static ways either we can set the browser drivers through script or another way is through system environment variables but either of them what we are setting the browser drivers are static only so how it works means current what version is available browser is there in the system that browser drivers man we have to download it the downloaded drivers path we need to set either through system uh, environment variables or through script we have to set that. tomorrow some version changes that earlier versions what we set will not works yes or no but using web driver manager it is a dynamic according to the browsers versions you have in computer that versions will be downloaded automatically this is the person dynamic or not so compared to earlier what is it so the static way i will tell you tomorrow okay is everyone clear till here seeing the maven project how to add a dependencies in your maven bit form xml okay and how do we uh, initialize the browser drivers using web driver manager how do we launch a browsers with including the respect to browser driver class objects is everyone clear yes sir yes sir can you please ping the two urls you use it for to build the uh, move in uh, xml sir I mean driver, uh, Sorry, driver. Dependencies. Yeah, dependencies. two URLs. Yeah, you will write, sir. Yeah, dependencies. Two URLs. MVN. Okay. Selenium is the official website for Selenium. Second. Selenium is the official website for Selenium. And next is mvnrepository.com. mvnrepository.com, which is a centralized repository where every dependency jars are accommodated in it. That stands for Marvin. Got it? Hello, sir. Yeah. I have a one question. You know, so how yeah. to download? Sir, how to download? Sir, actually, I went uh, after Gmail verification. It's not. I have downloaded several times, sir, but it's still downloaded. What you are asking for, madam? Java. Okay. How to download Java? Hmm. Mainu, is this your yes, name? Divya, sir. Divya, sir. Divya, making you presenter. Just uh... yes, sir. Yeah. Is acceptance? Oh, sorry, accept. Yeah. Uh, take uh, X64 installer. JDK 8233 below X8, X64.exe. Madam? Uh, sir, wait, sir. In X64. No, you are there, right? When you went. Sorry? All there in the page, right? Why you went back here? Yeah? Yes, sir. Madam, what happened? I can't see your screen. Yeah, I can't see your screen. It's not visible. I can't see your screen. Hello. Don't uh, worry. Sunny, don't worry. See, friends. Yesterday, I didn't share any recordings to anyone. Uh, I forgot actually. Uh, today, definitely, you can expect recordings. 
sorry for the interruption uh, divya uh, please uh, follow that recording madam installation part of that for installation okay, okay. na please select uh, x64 one version okay na not x86 oh. uh, go with x4 to download java okay sir uh, this one is jdk 8233 i can't see your screen madam i can't see your screen but you are in a presenter i think some technical issue is there from your end i can't see your screen Sir, I had already downloaded, but it's not open. Two, three times I downloaded, and after that I went to PC. Yeah, I uh, can't see. Eyes... Help you, Divya. I can't see your screen to help you. Okay. Or my present only. Then what should I do, sir? So what should I do means you are you are still in a presenter, madam. I can't see your screen. You might have logged in from laptop only. Let's let's uh, uh, we, let's make you once again the presenter. So you're asking doubt. Uh, I want to see your screen, but I'm not visible, right? You're not visible. See, I made you presenter once again. Yes, now I can see your screen now. Ah, okay. Ah, now what's your problem here? I had downloaded sixty four installer, sir. Actually, ah okay. Three times I had downloaded. Ah. After that, uh, there was an extra option. They are. They you have to install are, it. You have to install it. After download, then. Ah, uh, that option is not visible. Sorry. That option is not showing me in the on screen. What you have downloaded, it is not available. Ah. madam just no, clear uh, what you are asking actually, what is your exact you are saying three times you have downloaded then what next to install you have to install that software right did you install that yes, sir, yeah then where I, it is uh, you install means uh, yeah, yeah. i had installed it is there or not it is open c drive it is open c drive open c drive Do we have Java class today? Madam, uh, sir, uh, today Java class is not there because some people has missed the classes. Okay, okay sir. And so you you will be sending the recordings today, right? Yes, sir. The link uh, management is creating uh, just uh, in the middle of the class. Okay. Only management has called me in creating the Java link. Uh, they not shared the link to anyone. So friends, the okay. tomorrow and what will be goes on the same link only this entire week. Uh, Java okay. link will be get. For Java, separate link. Go to meeting link. You'll be getting friends by right? this uh, yeah, today, today or tomorrow. You'll be getting the link for uh, 7 p.m. Okay, na? So can we log off for it? Madam, uh, there is no more class. Yeah, you can log off for today. You can log off for today. Yeah. Uh, so there was one Madam, call out. Drive, to continue with it. So that setup uh, after the Chrome yeah. driver dot setup is any function setup dot setup? What is that? Sorry, sir. Sir, while uh, means uh, starting uh, Chrome driver, we use dot setup one function. So, which is that function or that is some command? Uh, web driver manager saying that. Yes, sir. Web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot setup. What is that dot setup? Yes, yes. That's a predefined methods. All the predefined methods. These all the predefined libraries in the web driver manager jar file. So, web driver manager so, dot Chrome driver dot setup. These all the predefined libraries in that. Web driver manager, fine. So okay, na. That okay, all these methods are out there. Okay, fine. Okay. Divya, what you are doing? Just open the C drive in your local system. What you are searching for that browser? Go to the C. Open C drive. Yeah, I don't open. Click on this PC. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, Radhika. Click on C. Click on C drive. Yes, Click on C drive. Windows C is the right. Yeah, click on it. Yes, ah, click on program files folder. Click on program files. 
program files. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, there are some friends uh, to get a link. That's what. Uh, sorry for that. So tomorrow onwards, Selim will be same. Okay, na? today is our Selim first class. Yes, 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 sir. Today is the Selim first class. Uh, six to seven, daily will be the same link in center week. And uh, the people who are uh, new for Java, the class will be continued seven to eight. The link will be shared by the management. Okay, fine. Madam, click on Java. Thank you, Sayed. Yes. On Java folder. Uh, is there, right? Yes, Install. What yes, problem? Yeah, it's the high game to handle. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Hello. Yes, yes, sir. Java installed. What's the problem? Nothing, right? Yeah. It's okay. Perfect. Yeah. Hello. Come on. Anyone? Hello. Yes, yes. Who is this? Sir, I'm Levin. Yeah. Can you please tell your name first of all before to speaking? Sir, I'm Levin, sir. Navin. Yeah, Navin. Tell me any problem. Sir, please share today's video. Yeah, definitely I'll share that, sir. Uh, sorry for that because I forgot to say. Yes, sir. Yes, definitely. Okay, nah? Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Any more doubts, friends? Bye, sir. Sir, to to yeah, today's session is ended, sir. sir. Yes, uh, Niranjan. Yeah, tell me, sir. Sir, today's session is ended, sir. Yeah, today's session is done, sir. Ended. A uh, Java okay. class. I was not. Uh, the link was not created. Okay. Just now it was created. It was twenty of the person. Because some people will miss that the classes if I share the link uh, right now. That's why okay. I ask them to stop Java class. Uh, tomorrow okay. we'll have Java a class. class link. Seven. Okay. Selenium will be post the same link, and seven to eight the Java link is created by management will be shared by you. Okay. Okay, sir. na. We'll share with you. Okay, na. Okay, sir. This session video is also yes, shared by the link, sir. Yes, yes. The so session will also be shared. I, 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 I supposed to share SD only. SD, okay. I need to share that, but I, I have to share that friend. Sorry for that. Okay. Didn't expect the recording. Uh, sir, okay. how can I access the videos of the previous classes, sir? It's me, Mahalakshmi. Mahalakshmi, I will share, madam. Actually, I forgot to share yesterday. Uh, today, I'll share, madam. Sorry uh, not, for that. Uh, not even yesterday, sir. Uh, from the day one videos. Uh, from the day one, uh, I need oh, to I access the videos. The how can videos? I access? You are asking. You are asking previous yeah, class yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, Not I will just share for you. Previous class for you, ma'am. From yesterday, I have attended. Yes. That's why, sir. Yes, definitely. Uh, sir, I will share, ma'am. How can I? Vishnu Priya. Vishnu Priya, tell me, ma'am. For me. Yeah, for me also. Day one videos are not available. Actually, yesterday yeah, only. That's I'm what I'm saying. saying. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I yes. forgot yesterday to share to everyone. Uh, today you can expect okay. the documents, you can the recordings. Okay. I'm sorry okay. for that delay. Okay, now don't worry. Yeah, okay, okay sir. Thank yeah. you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, friends. Yes. Any more queries? Sir, my, my name is Deepika. I also I should also get sir from day one to video, sir. Yeah, you will be getting, ma'am. You will be getting today. Okay, now don't worry. Java class is there tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow what are we having sir seven to Jama class okay na the link will be uh, link will be share uh, sent by the management so the time okay, time uh, six to seven, Selenium, link, seven to eight is the java continuation okay okay fine Thank you, friends. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir.